All right, so here is The Witcher 2. Now, this was actually kind of difficult to make run, but I've got all the special settings and everything you're going to need for this game to work for you as well on your Snapdragon 8 Elite. This probably works on other chipsets as well, but I didn't test it on the other chipsets, obviously. I tested it on my Snapdragon 8 Elite with my OnePlus 13. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. Watch it all the way through if you can. Thank you for watching and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Damned leaky boat. My boots are soaked. Yet another boggy shithole. Shot of vodka. That's what I need. All right, as promised earlier, I was going to show you all the settings that I use to get this game to work. So you're definitely going to want to run this in the Proton 9 X64. Use the latest DXVK you can. Go in. You're going to have to create a custom preset for your Box 64, but use the 0.3.7. And then you're going to copy all the settings that I'm going to show you here right now into your custom preset i named mine max performance just because that was the peak performance i could get out of this game on these presets so here they are just copy them down i slowed the video down to half speed so you guys can actually not pause it but actually let it play through and copy these settings thanks for watching
Alright, so at this point, you can tell this game runs really well on the Snapdragon 8 Elite. So, it's definitely worth trying if this is a game that interests you, because it plays really good. And yes, it has native controller support using the WinLater CMOD 13.1.1. It plays really well. I don't know all the controls off my hand, so you can see me struggle a little bit with a few things. But, it plays really good. Thanks for watching.